Good day everybody, it's Corey again here with some PHP Runner tips and tricks. Uh, today is just a follow-up uh, video on uh, how to hide a custom button depending on the user group sign-on. Um, if you haven't done so, you can go and watch the previous uh, movie titled uh, User Groups uh, Custom Way Clause Security API where I like ended in that movie and say, saying I'm going to show you in the next movie how to how to hide or show this button. If you don't want to go watch that movie now, just a little bit of background. We're sitting uh, in a case, let me show you the website quickly, when uh, where there's different users signing on uh, to the same application, but they like report into each other. So there's different levels of users. Um, from managers down. So um, currently what you see on the screen is a regional manager sign-on. Um, basically there is there are managers higher up. So this user signed on like in the middle somewhere. And there is now this little select button right in front of his name, which for this view is completely unnecessary. This select button is only used when a higher manager signs on because when a higher manager signs on there will be more than one regional manager in this list over here and then he will be able to select which manager he wants to filter on and that is what that select button is doing there. There's a select button in front of each and everyone's name and then selecting the button in front of the name will actually filter through the application. But in this particular case, the regional manager himself signed on to the application. And uh, so he can only see his own information, his own data. He can't even see his peers and also only the managers reporting to him down. And this select button in this view is in the way. It shouldn't be there. So what I'm going to show you is to how to show or to hide a button depending on the user that signs on. There's actually two methods, um, the more difficult way of doing so, and then also a very easy way of doing so. The one uh, applies to version 9.8, and the second method that I'm going to show you will apply to version 10. First, let's do the version 9.8 method okay going to the application quickly i already opened up the project here you will see that's you no know, just the the list page and a, and a and a display this is the view that you will get um, in version 9.8 um, and this is where you, where you where you will have to go now i am doing this in version 10 uh, but it's very it's exactly the same so what you're going to have to do is to go to the HTML page of this of this page and you will notice there's a couple of things going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find control F find the word um, select because that is what I called the button. Uh, and then you will see over here. OK, now that is where the button actually renders. It's a normal anchor, anchor HTML anchor. And uh, you will, this, what you see over here, the begin and the end tag wasn't here before I added it already. So you're gonna have to add begin anything. And I, well, just so you can recognize it later on. It's begin uh, regional bench select button. And then you will have to end it as well. Regional bench select, uh, bench select button. The, 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 the important thing is that you actually tell it where is the button starting and where is the button ending. This code wasn't there by default. You have to add it manually by typing it. Okay. Then you can now go out of here and you go straight to your uh, events page where the events of this regional bench is taking place and then you will have to say the following and this is on the list page just make it see if i can make it fit uh, this is on the list page 
after a record process. You can do, you are going to say, if the security group, which is the security API, which I also discussed in the previous movie, um, is an application manager, then that regional bins select button, you have to put it like in a, in a record um, array, because this record array is part of this function over here. Um, just simply, that's true. Else, uh, if the security group is a regional manager, then make that button false. And that is simply going to hide or show the button. Um, and sign on again. All right, so you will now notice that little button is not there because it's a reasonable person that signed on and uh, voila, it's working. However, version 10 made it even easier. You don't have to go into any HTML code whatsoever and that's the preferred way and I'm going to show you how to do that in version 10. So going back, back to the project, you're going to jump straight to the designer page and there is the select button added by me earlier on and i want to hide that button in a certain condition doesn't really matter which condition right to the to the right of your page there it says item id now the custom button one is what PHP runner already named it as you can go and rename it if you want to make it more something that you can relate to I'm not going to do that this little question mark over here you click on that it shows you the code the PHP code events of how to hide that item or show the item I just make a copy of that and then from there I jump straight to my events page this time I'm going to uncomment everything I've done here and then in the before display I'm going to paste that right there so now you just have to think about it if it's an application manager you want to show that so I'm going to copy this line of coding so in that case show it to me and on the two other cases when it's a regional manager is going to hide it and when it's an advisor manager i want to hide it as well this just don't forget you have to remove that now and that is as easy as that yet another reason in my opinion why you should get version 10 it's so much easier everything in fact this method not only works with buttons but literally any object on that page you just go and identify the id and you can go and hide and show it in this manner so after successful bolt and upload similar results exactly the same the button is gone when this person signs on yet version 10 makes it so much easier you don't have to go into any html and go and stand a chance that you can break some stuff there you just literally copy paste that code that they supply as is use it in your nested if statement and there you go so that is how you hide or show a button in a certain condition any condition for that matter hopefully this was helping somebody just want to thank Xline soft for this amazing product they keep on improving on this product every day almost they are just amazing I've been in contact with the support as well and um, what a quick response and they are very helpful so please do yourself a favor and go so go get yourself a copy it's absolutely worth it thanks for watching let me know whether you liked it or not thank you